This is our Thanksgiving service, and we are thankful to God that we're still here and for how He has blessed us and kept us, motivated us, healed us, and all of those great things. And we do thank God that He's Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you this morning. And Thanksgiving and giving thanks is a wonderful thing. When you say thank you, it makes room for more. More room for God to bless you and to that is to keep you and cover you. And we just come to say thank you today. We ask that you would bless our services, be with us in a special way. There are those, Lord, that are in hospitals. There are those who are worried. There are those, really, who are out there who have no food at this time. But yet still, we can be grateful. Lord, teach us how to be thankful. And you will thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God is a good God and he has blessed us. Amen. And we're going to ask us to talk to him to come and favor us in song. <laughs> Praises unto his name. O most high, to show forth 
thy loving kindness in the morning, and thy faithfulness in the night, upon the instrument of the ten strings, and upon the psalter, upon the harp, with a solemn sound. For the Lord has made me glad. Amen. Through thy words. And I will do a triumph in his word of thy hand. O Lord, how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep. Amen. And now it's time to pray. And we know that all over this world in our church, Mr. Joseph Cotton, every church of God, that there's many requests. There's many requests. Many things upon our heart. We understand. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have a general prayer this morning. But first, we're going to have a press up. Amen. And we're going to ask Sister Henry to call. And even after that, we're going to ask Brother Glenn to call and come and lead us to the throne of grace. Of the service 
That you, Lord, will anoint the word that will come out, Father, and that it will touch our hearts. But, Lord, that you would make our hearts tender and receptive to your word. Open up our ears, Lord. Let us humble ourselves before the mighty throne of God. And, Lord, let us listen to the small, sweet voice of the Holy Spirit. That we need to make changes. We need to reach out. That, Lord, this is the perfect time that we can touch other souls, Lord. Yes. They're going through many drug troubles. They don't have anybody to, to look to, Father. Help us to direct them to you. Let us be the light and example for your kingdom, Father. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for doing it, Father. We thank you for the deliverance even now, Father. We thank you for the testimonies that you've given us. We will forever Lord, give you all the praise the honor and glory, and we ask this in the miraculous, wonderful, all-powerful, the mighty God, Jesus Christ's name, according to your will in heaven. Amen. Amen.
shepherd, shepherd, and not that he gives me what I want, but I shall not want. And we thank God that how he has blessed us. Father, we thank you once again, Lord, and as we dig into your word, God, and you allow us to bring out some truths that need to be brought out during this season. We ask that you would bless now. Bless the speaker and the hearer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want to talk uh, uh, this morning on the subject a bowl of thanksgiving. A bowl, a bowl, a bowl. That bowl that you put up now, put it in. That bowl that you put on that salad or whatever it is. That's what I want to talk about this morning. Now, first of all, it's Thanksgiving season. Am I right? And we need God. We need that. Amen. We, we, we just want to thank him that is for leading us into what I call a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. And by being saved, we have uh, seen God's blessing. You've seen his healing, his mercy. Most of all, you've seen his love, believe it or not. And in, 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 in so many ways until we've seen all of that, until we, we won't, uh, we just want to thank him. Amen. And we want everybody to know him and to seek after him. And we want to do this all together. Well, well, Thursday, Thursday morning, uh, around noon or either afternoon, most of America is going to be sitting at a round square table. Amen. With, with the food that make up what I call a, a feast. A feast. Not just an everyday meal. Now, now let's talk about uh, Thanksgiving, let's be honest. Now, when you think about Thanksgiving, what do you really think about? Or what is comes to your mind first? Amen. Be honest about it. When I think about Thanksgiving, we think about what turkey eating. Am I right? And having that is uh, family all around and friends all around. Amen. And, and you wonder how many people really uh, ask a sincere lesson that day. Or do we just, uh, how can I say, it? do a quickie, do a quickie. God is great, God is good, you know, and then I'm from the hood or something like that. Or do you really, really, truly thank God for everything and that he has done in your life and that which set before you that is at that particular time? Amen. And we don't express gratitude enough towards God. Amen. And you express some gratitude. Amen. Gratitude uh, to God is very important to who you. Oh, no, it's important to God. That you do what? That you give thanks to me a lot. And you say after me, what do we do? We turn on the football game. Amen. We see the wonderful Detroit Lions that we love to death. And the last portion of the meal is dessert. And guess what? Thanksgiving is over with. It's over with for many people until the next year. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, it is. And we sit around and eat out of that bowl. You understand? That bowl. But we need to carry that bowl of thanksgiving instead of that banana pudding. We need to carry that. That is from day to day, believe it or not. Now, now every morning we get up. Amen. We still, we still can see, hear, walk. We can smell. You understand? And all these functions. Amen. We enjoy every day. I know I enjoy mine. I woke up this morning and looked in the mirror and I knew who I was looking at. Amen. I don't have all signs. So I'm, I'm blessed, believe it or not. I enjoy what God gives me every day. And we ought to wake up every morning saying, thank you, Lord. And we have to look, or learn how to thank God regardless of what's going on in our life. We know that we got pandemic all around us, but we still ought to do what? Thank God. And we ought to learn what it is. That is the thank God. Amen. You see, how many of y'all know what I'm talking about? I almost got in the target the other day. And guess what? I, I must confess from the outside, said it wasn't the other driver's fault. And sometimes it's not the other driver's fault. Am I right? But I had to pause for a moment and I had to thank him because that was a close call. That's, that was a, I, I almost didn't make it. Have, have y'all ever been there before? Y'all know what I'm talking about? You see? And not only that, we just need to learn what it is to thank him. Amen. Something good comes your way. Thank him. Something good comes somebody else's way. Thank him. You understand? Don't be afraid that he is to thank God. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? If you can't give thanks to unto the Lord, we know that you're hurting. Many people are hurting. We know that you're in the middle of going through. But you need to do what? You need to say, Lord, amen. I know you know the reason for this. Amen. And I want to thank you. And I want to rebuke the devil in the mighty, in, in, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about Jesus, who's the mediator between God and man. 
How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Jesus. You need to thank God for it, who gave his life for every last one of them. Because God, one thing I know about you, you are in charge of this world. The earth is the Lord. It is the Lord in the fullness thereof. Somebody ought to shout amen. 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 We have to thank God every day for all the things that God does for us in our lives. We got to thank Him. Now, as we look at the Old Testament system, Thanksgiving was a vital part, amen, of what we call the sacrificial system. The sacrificial system. Because as we look at Psalm 992, it, 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 it began by saying that we should give thanks unto the Lord because He is good. Am I right? Amen. You give thanks unto the Lord because he is good. Amen. And to say his praise to, uh, uh, to your name, God, we should do that. And he's the God of the most high, he said. Amen. And we did that just now by singing together in church. And to declare your loving kindness not uh, in the morning and your faithfulness at night. So we are thank him in the morning. And then we ought to do what? Thinking that night. Upon what? Upon the instruments and the ten strain. Amen. Upon the psaltery. With the, uh, it said that in my Bible, the resounding of, 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 uh, of solemn music. That means loud music. And what they were saying that in the days of old, they played loud music. They did, for believe it or not. And, and we should praise him in that way and in that order. For he has made me glad. The songwriter said, I will rejoice. I thank God for that. Because he has made me glad. Amen. We are thankful for what he's done. Amen. I will say joy. Amen. Uh, uh, for thy works in thy hand. Amen. In the works of God. Whatever God has done. Whatever God has done in your life. Thank you for it. Amen. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. You understand? How you thank you for my blunders? You understand? My hard times. Can I put it to you straight? My sins. Because I learned something from them. You ain't nobody gonna tell the truth about that, but I'm gonna tell you anyhow. You understand? And it says, How uh, how great are uh, your works, O oh Lord, for your works are very deep. Now, as we talk about the sacrificial system, we got to remember in the days of old in Israel, amen, was just nothing but Hebrews at that particular time. And God had did, did what he's taken them out of Egypt, amen, now he moves them to Sinai. That is after they've gone through the desert for 40 years, you understand. And God gave them all kinds of detail, rules and regulations, amen, to read the book of Leviticus that is. For example, he said in Leviticus, don't do this, do that, and then uh, uh, there was a warning, you understand, of the violation, you understand, that you would do at that particular time. So now God used sacrifice, and he used the laws, and he gave uh, uh, in order to do what? To teach them, amen, and, and one of the things that he wanted to teach them was thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one thing. We need to teach people how to be thankful. Thankful, you understand? You got to teach them, you understand? I got a foot disease that some people don't even have no feet. They have to cut off. So we need to just learn a Thanksgiving system and what Thanksgiving is all about. They offered, amen, Thanksgiving, amen, sacrifices they did every morning and every evening. Well, what, what, what was he, what were they doing, you understand? He wanted them to always realize, amen, that he was God and that they were dependent upon him because he was what? He was the source of everything in their life. Everything they had, everything they did not have, God was the source of all of it. Amen. And then God had a reason for them uh, uh, to thank him daily. To thank him, that is, for the sacrifices that was made at that time. Now, for example, Psalm 50, believe it or not, in the 23rd verse says this. It says that he that offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving, it does what? It honors God. When you offer a thanksgiving sacrifice, you're honoring God. Even when you just simply say, thank you. Thank you. Just simple. Just as simple as that. You're honoring God. You're honoring him as the Lord. The Lord of what? The Lord of, of, of the source of your blessing. Whatever he has given. He's the source that is of your blessing. Whatever it might be. Now, uh, you need to ask yourself a question. We all need to come down and say, how many times during the year do we thank God? Right. We need to ask ourselves that. How many times during the year? During the month? During the day? 
during the minutes and the hours you actually thank God. Amen. Not just after you call 911 and they show up, you say thank you. You understand? You're coming into a little sum of money, a little piece of money, you say thank you. You understand? Now, how many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, oh, you like me, a car, an 18 wheeler almost took you out. Amen. And you say thank you. Well, what about when you wake up in the morning and you don't have any, any, I'm talking about motivation, except that God is God and God is your God. And not only that, but Jesus is the Lord of your life and he's going to walk with you all day long. Amen. And this is a serious thing when it comes down to God. God being on my side all day long, every minute, while I'm in the hospital, or from outside of the hospital, if I'm at war and I got a gun in my hand, God is with me. God is with me in the good times and the bad times. God is with me when I'm broke or when I got a pocket full of money. We got to learn what Thanksgiving is all about and we got to learn how to thank him day and night, morning and night. We got to learn how to do that. You understand? How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Lord, have mercy. This thing was Thanksgiving is a wonderful thing, believe it or not. We need to teach our children. We need to teach our children to be thankful. Don't we need to do that? Amen. Because if a person is not grateful or thankful, you know what they're really saying to God? They're saying that God, I don't recognize you as being the source of my blessing. God is the source of your blessing. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You know I watch some people that they're so blessed. You ever watch people that they're so gifted? I mean, they just go beyond everybody. If you want to run in the race, one of them, they're out in the old world. Fast man in the world. That's a gift. It has to be. And I see some people so gifted. God is the source of my blessing. He's the strength of my blessing. Amen. You see, and if I don't recognize him as the source of being anything, you understand, I, can, I cannot make it all by myself. I need a God. I'm constituted. I got to have one. I'm not that close to you. And if I don't have one, and he's blessing me every day, I need to learn what it is to thank him. We all just thank God. How many of y'all know that you set the very thing right? Amen. It's a very dangerous thing. Amen. Because God can bring you down instantly. You need to thank him. You need to thank him for everything in your life. But God is the source of my strength. Some writer said he's the strength of my life. I can't even be happy without God. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Because somebody said that the joy of the Lord is what is my strength. In the 15th chapter of the book of St. John, that's what he said. With God be, you can't do nothing. What in the world can you do without God? Put your name on a billboard? Or even on some great building that you see in the, in the city? You can't do that. What are you going to do? What in the world? He said, without me, you can't do nothing. So gratitude and thanksgiving is a part of life. Am I right? It's a part of our thinking. It's a part of how we operate. Amen. So let's look at how, how they express their gratitude in the days of old. First of all, they offer sacrifices. Sacrifices. Amen. You see? Well, they killed animals and they were cruel to, to animals. No, 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 no. These people killed animals and it wasn't a waste because they were honoring God. You got to learn what it is to honor God. Do what it says to do. To honor him. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? They offer sacrifices. And the Bible said that they did what they sang song. They sang hymns. They played on their instruments and they expressed their thanksgiving. They gave to God. Amen. Prayers of thanksgiving. Because thanksgiving was major in their life, believe it or not. Amen. Now, if we have been, amen, if we not, excuse me, have been thankful that it is to God, we need to do what? Become convicted. And somebody needs to be convicted for the sin of ingratitude. We need to know what it is to be grateful. Amen. You see? You see? And, and, and guess what? That's one sin that you can change immediately. You don't have to have a 90 day monitorium and call the leaders in or call the bishop in. You can change that immediately just by opening your mouth and saying, God, I thank you. I was in the hospital the other day, and I had 
COVID-19. And guess what? That their angel has been harnessed and, and uh, the, the, the chariot has been harnessed. And it's from low many times. But guess what? You overlook me that I had it, but I came out of it. We need to learn what it is to thank God. Somebody ought to be thanking him right now. Things are not as bad as you think it is. Especially when you got God on your side. That he did. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on to thank God? You don't understand. You see, now Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving in a church gathering is one thing. But you need to thank him at your address. Yeah. When you listen, understand. Amen. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You need to thank him. I'm been in the house. I went out there the other day just flat out prayed. Right in the middle of an unbuilt house. To God, this is about you. It's not about it. In the church, we make everything about us. You understand? You just need to pray and leave it up to God. How many of y'all worship God? Worship it in the way that you see fit. Pray in the way that you see fit. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, what about all of the many privileges that we enjoy? You understand? All of them, amen, should invoke thanksgiving. That is to God every day. You ought to thank Him every day. Y'all not have time for foolishness every day. Not the fact, what is on your mind every day? What is on your mind every day? Amen. I got a few things that we ought to thank God for. First of all, we ought to thank God for the peace. The peace of God. Romans 1, 5 and 1, we know it well. Therefore, being justified by faith. We have what? We have peace with God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, peace is a wonderful thing. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You can't buy clothes and just have peace. You can't buy a brand new car and have peace. You can't marry a woman that you ain't no wife, you won't have no peace. Buy six sheets, you won't get a good night's sleep unless you have some peace. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Next of all, we need to know this that God shows us that is before the foundation of the world. Amen. And I'm so glad that you first saved and then you're filled by the Holy Ghost. And I thank God for that. Believe it or not, you understand. Filled with the precious Holy Ghost. Now, He has gifted us as I say. And we should walk in our gift and whether it's doing what, whether it's service or whether it's giving, uh, uh, giving or administration, teaching, mercy, tongues, it can even be pastoring, whatever it is, whatever God gift God gave you, stop jumping around and claiming you a jack of all trade. Just do what God asks you to do and then be thankful. Amen. I wish I had somebody in here. Amen. And do what thanksgiving. This thing is closing in on us in this world. And we need to thank God. Amen. Next, Lord, Lord, we thank you for allowing us to do what? To have an intimate relationship with you. And that is we can talk to you personally. And then we can listen sometimes to your response. One thing to pray, you need to listen. Do you listen to God? We need to listen to God. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Then thank you for that unconditional love. For example, at no point did I say, uh, at no point does God say that I love you if, I love you if. Amen. Now he may bless me if. But he may, uh, how can I say, work something in my life and heal me if. But when it comes down to loving me, there's no ifs. He loves me anyhow. I'm so glad that Jesus loved me. The songwriter said, even me. And you need to carry that around me. God loves you. I don't care what they call me. You on the side now. That's not God. I told you that in the beginning. You need to love yourself. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? And guess what Jesus said? Jesus talks about loving the enemy, but he said love your neighbor as you would love yourself. And you got to have a godly love for yourself. Am I right about that? You got to know what it is about loving yourself with that unconditional love. Amen. When it comes down to God, we got to love. And this is only uh, the sovereign God of the universe that says that I love you no matter what. He says, I love you. His chastising hand, oh yeah, it's going to be upon you. You understand? But it's an expression of love. You understand? He chastises those who he loves. You're not going to get away with doing anything you want to do. Just keep on doing it. If you think you can run and hide, just keep on doing it. And you'll find out. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? To keep us straight, to keep us in order. 
to keep us on the straight and narrow, believe it or not, guess what he does? He just chastises us. Another thing that he does is he provides. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's my provider. You understand? My God shall supply. Lord heavens. If they need that I got a hope to his riches and glory. According, according to his riches, that is in glory. And I'm totally dependent upon his riches, believe it or not. You see? And I'm glad about that. According, he's a provider. He provides for my needs. Amen. And then we have what we are thinking. That is for the word of God. The Holy Bible. Read it. That's all you got to do is read it. If you would read it, you would become a better person. And you can get the text and, 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 and the angst and all of that stuff out of your life. All you got to do, I declare, if you would open it and read it, we have the Holy Bible. Amen. You see? And, and in there lies what I call all of the source of our knowledge and our understanding. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? I preach long enough and I got to go. You understand? But not a true heart felt thanks to me. David, that is, believe it or not, can have an impact on your life. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? And I'm so glad to be able to say that I'm grateful and I'm thankful this moment. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? And all God is asking, amen, is for recognition and he's asking for gratitude and obedience. Amen. You see, how many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Just be aware that living in the presence of the holy and almighty and omnipotent God, you understand, is a wonderful thing. You understand, when I think about the goodness and everything that God has for me, my soul might cry out the whole up now. I got to thank him every night and day. Every night and day, you ought to get a praise man, just for thanking him. And you need to thank him for what he has done. How do y'all know what I'm talking about? I heard somebody say he's been better than me than I've been to myself. I got to thank him, believe it or not. How do y'all know what I'm talking about? He's opened doors for me that no man can open. Believe it or not, he's blessed me. Guys. Like no man can bless me. I'm so glad that David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. If his praise shall continually be in my mind. Somebody ought to cry, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for how you've been giving to me. How you've been blessing me. You've healed me, you've saved me, you've raised me, you've covered me. And now all I got to do is shout out and say thank you. But there's one more thing I'm thankful for that give a life everlasting. You want to leave no pain, that's what I want to do. When I get to heaven, when I get to heaven, I want to say and shout out with one more thing I want to do. When I see Jesus, I want to bow down before the Lord is present. I want to bow down. Thank you for that. Now, God, just ask you to bless us. 
Let us be a blessing unto another. God, I apologize and we want to give you thanks, glory, and honor for this. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord.